Welcome to Primo RV Center in a new to us 2212 FBLX in Puma's Ultralight Series. This is a great little first camper or someone who's looking to maybe upgrade from either a tent or tent trailer or just looking for the basic amenities and uh, you know certainly a coach that can handle one, two or three people depending on the need. Uh, we're going to start up front here. This was uh, maintained by ourselves here, stored with us and it's recently come into us so we're excited to pass it on to a new camper here or somebody getting back into camping. Up front it is standard with a front power jack. You've got a 20 pound propane tank up front. Room for multiple batteries and when I love on this one is it is ready to be set up for solar so it's got a plug-and-play solar application on the side we do carry a 100 watt portable solar panel here that would be a, a great fit for this if you're looking to get in some of those off-grid sites in some of our provincial campgrounds here in and around the uh, the Ottawa Valley area or beyond uh, certainly would be well set up for that and there's room for multiple batteries so you can take advantage of uh, the sun that you have. You've got large jacks on all four corners which for a trailer of this size which roughly for the box is about 15 and a half feet and then tip to tail it's 18 feet 6 inches coming in at a weight of just under 3100 pounds so it's uh, uh, and 7 feet wide so it's well towed easily towed by many many SUVs. You've got great storage up front here this is underneath your main bed so you've got a huge storage compartment. It is also accessible from the inside with a couple of pistons that allow you to hold up the mattress so if you didn't want to use it as more of inside storage you could do that as well you've got a great little 10 foot awning basically running from that front compartment right to the very back so you've got a an area here that'll be roughly 8 by 10 when that awning is all the way out uh, you've got the great steady steps here that anchor to the ground so at least if people are coming in and out it's not going to feel like that camper is moving especially with all four jacks down on the back side here we are pre-wired for a backup camera We've got our spare tire here in the back, and this is a great little feature that I love. You've got an LP gas connection on the back, so you could set up a little grilling area here on the back for a barbecue or a, a little stove with a high pressure hookup here. We've got an in for cable TV, should you have it on site, uh, or if you're going to set up a satellite dish, that would be the input there. We do have our black and gray exits here. What's great on this unit is it is well set up with great size tanks. So all the tanks are at least 30 gallons or more uh, across all three tanks. So fresh, black, and gray. You've got electric brakes on your axle here. It is 30 amp service because we do have air conditioning on board. So if you do want to take advantage of the air conditioning, you would use 30 amp. If you don't necessarily need a 30 amp uh, or air conditioning, then you could certainly get away with 15 or 20 amp service. It is also outfitted with a hot and cold shower on the backside, which is great. And then you've got your uh, connection here for a hot water tank as well. You've got your outlet for your furnace on the backside and then your fill for your fresh water tank. So if you're looking to be, again, more off the grid and you're using a smaller vehicle, you can fill up when you get there and then not necessarily have to uh, take that water weight with you. You've got an emergency exit window on this backside, which will louver open about six inches. And then you have a little kitchen window here you can also open. Great window on the dinette side as well there. So you've got some cross ventilation in the middle. And then this great window here, just above your stone guard in the front, will let in quite a bit of light here, which you'll see when we head inside. So a very easy unit to maintain, very easy unit to tow with a wide variety of vehicles. And uh, being in uh, such great condition, being a newer unit, it's going to be a really great value for somebody that's starting out. So I don't expect this one to last long. Certainly if you're interested on this 2022 Puma 12 FBX LX, please let us know. And uh, we'll certainly be do our best to get you any other information you may need.